Welcome to using measurement computing devices with MATLAB. Today I will be using the USB 1608GX-2AO to read an input signal and compute its amplitude spectrum. Let's begin. Start a new script file to hold the commands. I'm going to be defining a few variables. These are used in my display routine and help make the code clearer. Count. This is the number of samples I want to read. Rate. This is the frequency at which the samples are read. Range. My device supports voltage ranges of 1, 2, 5, and 10 volts. For, for this example, I want 5 volts. Now I need to get the analog input object which contains the acquisition settings. The string MCC is the driver identifier and the zero is the board number assigned by the Instacal program. Now add a channel to the analog input where zero is the channel number. Now set the input range. Set the sample rate. Set the number of samples to read and the trigger method. The start command will start the acquisition running and to read the voltage data use the get data function. Use the FFT function to change the data to frequencies and the amplitude spectrum is twice the absolute value of the FFT. Finally I will name my script fetch data. Now I need an input signal and for that I have a generator routine that outputs a complex waveform on the analog output line. To complete the electrical connection I have connected a wire between the output and the analog input. To display the data I have another routine called plot data that will graph the voltage and frequency data. Now let's test it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more information about data acquisition devices and the software that controls them. Refer to the transcript for a listing of all three scripts that I used in this video. Thank you.